cool, quick, easy DIY project. You can upcycle it too. We're making reusable coffee cup koozies with Tess Poe. She's the owner of Beehive Sewing in Northampton. Pleasure to have you here. Good Hi, morning. Tess. Hi. So yesterday was an iced coffee day. Yes, Beautiful very out. much so. A lemonade day. Today a little bit more of a hot coffee day. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to be doing is making a quilted coffee cup sleeve or a koozie if you want to use that word. Because <laughs> normally you have these and while they might be biodegradable, you're wasting cardboard. Correct. And you so, get it every day, then that's a lot of cardboard you're going through. It's a lot of cardboard. Plus, what's better than having something that's like customized and like your favorite color, etc. Team colors, maybe. Team something like that. Mass appeal colors. Does it have a pocket? So, my sample here has a pocket. That's a little extra that I put in there so that I could keep track version. of my loyalty cards because we all have <laughs> coffee cards to different places. That's a great right? idea. That's such a good so idea. So, you'll see that on the website and on the Beehive website. But for today, we're going to do a simple version. This is going to be a great Mother's Day gift. And because it's quilted, made of fabric, it's good both for hot coffee and for iced coffee that gets a little drippy. So it's like a coaster it's as a well. Great so not just an insulator. Sometimes you need the koozie for something like this. It's true. So first yeah. thing that we're going to do is do the quilting. And we've talked about quilting before and what that is. Um, all I'm doing is I took a scrap of fabric and this beautiful green chevron and I layered it with a little bit of batting, which could be anything. If you've got an old dish towel that you want to use as batting, that's fine. Uh, and then on the last layer, just a little bit of, uh, I used muslin, you can use a white cotton sheet or anything else that you have kind of laying around. And so the quilting part means that I've just stitched through all those three layers. It gives it more flexibility. It okay. makes it nice and insulated. Mm -hmm. I have a guy question. What's chevron? Is that the fabric that we're using? The style <laughs> of fabric? Yeah, oh, what a great guy question. Yeah, <laughs> chevron is, is the little kind of up Did and down you know that? Yeah. Of okay. course she knew that. So what have we done I don't on the, get piece out that, chevron. the piece that Ashley is holding? I've already quilted on the chevrons. You can be really crazy with this. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be measuring stuff. I've just kind of followed along that chevron pattern. Now that we have it quilted, Seth is going to trace our coffee cup sleeve. Ooh, okay. it's also known as zigzag. Also known as, that's right. That's true. The that's what they used to call chevron before it got hip. <laughs> so you don't need any special sewing tools. We're going to use a great big okay. Sharpie. Trace around there. Okay, you sure? I'm positive because we're going to cut away all that part. We're going to just cut away. We're going to cut out the shape of our sleeve. You okay. might want to do a better job of tracing <laughs> so that it's the right size. Maybe oh. I should have traced and he should have cut. I had too much coffee this morning. A little bit shaky. And you coffee also had a breakfast a sleeve. taco too. So that's <laughs> going to make a biscuit you taco and, and oh, a jalapeno and that, coffee. That certainly is something. <laughs> There we go. So we have our shape traced on there. Now, Ashley has two choices. She can cut with a regular pair of scissors, and we're going to put an edging on here, kind of like on the sample. We've got a very narrow bias tape. Yep. Or you can cut with the pinking shears, and we're going to end up zigzagging all around the edge. I, I think it's a I zigzag. Think, I think of it's a zigzag. Zig that's right. With the chevron. Kind of but you day. didn't make it easy for me, buddy. <laughs> <I know>. And <laughs> by the, if people are looking, just find one of your own to make a template, right? That's right. So you'll see that we have two here that we're holding up. One is the small, one is the large. So when you go into your favorite coffee shop, just take a note of the size that you usually get. Snag one, open it up. You know, they're just cardboard, and you can use this as your guide. Great point. So, and this is so much better. It's like a pillow for your hand. It is kind of like a, a you know, it's nice and comfy. Yeah, as opposed yeah. to a cardboard. Well, that's what you want when you're sipping on a when nice you're hot sipping cup of a coffee. You want to feel comfortable. Well, too. you know, Mother's Day is coming up, and this is a great Mother's Day gift for the mom who always has an iced coffee or a hot coffee. Great point. If you have younger kids, they might want to embroider something. They might want to sew a button on there, sew some beads on. You know, there's lots of ways that you can customize it. Um, but you know, so there you go. You've got that. We're going to go ahead and do a quick edging around here if we have a moment, and yeah. then. What's the last thing? Drink your uh, coffee. No, that's <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> Velcro. Oh, there's Velcro happening. Because of course it has to stay on our cup. Right. So we're gonna just go ahead. I'm gonna do a quick little zigzag on part of this. And Ashley, if you have a look at that gray coffee cup cover right over oh, there, that's you're not gonna make kind me of sew. No. in process. You can see what it looks like when we use that bias tape, that little skinny edging. You can see how nice and professional that looks. It just gives it a cleaner, a cleaner edge. And guess what? Because you're using fabric, this is totally machine washable. I spill coffee all the time, so if you happen to spill some coffee on it, you can throw it right in the wash. Love it. Tess, this That's looks fantastic. Great. Now, later in the show, uh, we're not done with you yet. What are we going to be doing later in the show? Later in the show, Mother's Day, Cinco de Mayo, 
Coming up with barbecues, we're going to do some flags and banners, some pennants and decorations that you can make and save. We're doing flags and rags. Love I'm it. Reusable decorations. Hey, you're hey using look it at me. Do you feel I'm comfortable? A, I feel so cozy, comfortable. It's like a pillow. On I'm missing out here. Yeah, you know? You're missing okay. out. You're going to use some scraps. No, oh, that's not good. All right. There we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to cozy cheers. and koozies and sleeves. Coming up.